Hello students, I am myself Neul Kudia from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we start one new chapter that is finite element analysis. Okay, so in the last session we discussed what is the advantages of FEA, what is the disadvantages of FEA, how FEA useful to the designer and design organization and all things. So in today's session we have to discuss one more topic that is types of elements means how many types of elements are available and useful in your FEA analysis okay so uh, before uh, understanding types of analysis we have to understand three definitions first one that is discretization process elements and nodes first we have to understand three, uh, these three definition using these three figures so you can uh, visualize that one object is there in next figure uh, that is the name of that figure that is element so in first figure is a one continuous object in second figure we divide that object in three parts clear so in three parts are uh, indicate three different colors and uh, the third figure in third figure there is a total of three elements and three elements are connected with each other with nodes so that nodes uh, uh, indicate with the red circle so based on these three figures, we have to understand three definitions. First one that is discretization, second one that is element, and third one that is not. So what is the discretization process? So if we have any of the object and we divide this object in number of parts, so this process of dividing this object is known as a discretization process. Okay. Second definition that is element. What is element? If you divide any of the object in number of parts, at that time each part of that object consider as a one element. Okay, that is the second definition. And third one that is a node. Node means if you divide any of the object in number of parts, at that time number of element is generated. So each element connected with some particular point, so that point is known as a knot. So you have to understand three definition carefully. Okay. Next thing, first discretization. So model body divide into a equivalent system of many smaller bodies or units like finite elements interconnected at point common to a two or more elements or more elements means node or nodal points and boundary lines and surfaces okay so that is the process of discretization process second one element the finite element method the body or structure is divided into finite number of smaller unit so that unit is known as an element and third one that is not the assemblage of element then represent the original body or structure this element are considered interconnected at joint which are known as nodes means interconnected at joint any of the two element joint with any of the two points and that points known as a node so you have to remember this three definition now we have to discuss types of elements now for any of the uh, analysis first we have to consider the types of analysis either that problem is for the 1d element two dimensional element or three dimensional element once we do an analysis of any of the object at that time first we have to define or we have to consider any of the particular element of that body okay so that is the types of elements so in types of element that is first one that is 1d element 1d element that is the line element means line any of the straight line indicate as a one dimensional element in one dimensional element you can uh, see in this figure that either that is one dimensional element is a spring now you all know spring is a only one one linear line and in one linear line spring we consider as a one dimensional element second struss beam pipe all are considered in a 1d line element second one two dimensional element means two dimensional plane element so there is a number of two dimensional elements available first one that is membrane plane cell you can understand based on this figure in this figure total of four nodes is there okay and this is the 2d plane this type of object generated in the 2d plane some more example of two dimensional element we have to discuss over here in first figure a indicate triangular three dot 
means there is here is a one triangle is there in that triangle total three nod is there three black dot indicate three nod is there in figure number b that is quadrilateral four nod linear means that is the linear type element and quadrilateral four nod that means in uh, figure number b you can easily uh, view that that is total number of four nod is there and total four element is there because uh, any of the element interconnected with the two nodes okay third figure figure c indicate triangular six nod quadrilateral means there is a what triangle is there but in triangle not three nod this triangle with six nod means three nod is the corner point and in one uh, each in each element middle point one nod is there clear so you can understand from, from figure number c triangular six nod uh, element next one that is a quadrilateral eight nod uh, elements means uh, there is a four element with eight nod okay four nod each corner point and one nod one nod each uh, midpoint of each element so total eight nod is there quadrilateral eight nod uh, uh, element next one that is a uh, interior nod with 10 nod cubic means uh, in that uh, one type of triangular nod is there three nod in each corner point three nod in each uh, uh, middle point clear and one nod is the center of the object it's called an interior nod so total number of nod is a 10 okay that is also one type of 2d element and last axisymmetric toroidal element that means uh, from center line both the side the shape of object is same it's called an axisymmetric object that type of element also available so these all are the example of the two dimensional elements okay next one 3d solid elements so this is the one of the good example of 3d solid elements like temperature displacement stress and flow velocity all these uh, considered only in one figure clear that's why it is called a 3d solid element few more example of 3d solid elements we have to discuss in next slide so first one figure a indicate tetrahedron four nod linear these all are the uh, 3d object clear in any of the 3d object there is a three coordinates is available like x y and z okay so this is the tetrahedron in tetrahedron with four nod and four nod with how 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 many elements total number of elements is also four okay next figure number b indicates the rectangular prism eight nod clear this is the rectangular element in rectangular element is look, look like a cubic and cubic and in, if any of the cubic have total eight vertices so eight nod is there okay so this is the rectangular prism eight nod linear element you can see in figure number b next figure number c indicate prism with six nod now you all know what is the shape of the prism you can see in this figure number c and prism have a total six corner point so prism have a total six knot okay and last three dimensional element that is arbitrary hexahedron eight knot linear element means it is one type of cubic with eight knot but all uh, the shape of all element are not same clear so these are all are the three dimensional elements so total three types of elements available one dimensional element two dimensional element and three dimensional element we have to select any of the element based on our requirement of analysis okay so this is the types of analysis most important question of this chapter clear types of elements types of elements you have to or discuss total three types of elements next one software packages for fa means how many software available for the fa software so first one ansys in ansys number of types of analysis available like a structural analysis vibration analysis harmonic analysis uh, temperature analysis fluid analysis all types of analysis we have to do in ansys software second one that is next one all are the feature of feature are little bit different but function of all the software are same for the analysis purpose next one that is patron next one that is nisa or display 3 next one ls dyna next software that is hypermesh ktia prui creo solidworks and cosmos all are the analysis and designing software 
so uh, we have to at a, as a parts of your engineering we have to learn two software first software that is modeling software and second one called the analysis software so these are the software of the fe okay next one that is the physics if once we have to solve any of the object or any of the problem using fe at that time that problem divide in total three phase first one that is pre processing okay so in what we have to do in pre processing here a finite element mesh is developed to divide the given geometry in sub domains for mathematical analysis and the material property are applied and also we have boundary condition first step that is the pre processing in pre processing what we have to do first we have to do uh, divide this object into number of parts after that we have to define the boundary condition we have to apply property material property means that object which uh, which material is there and in material property like uh, property like pressure volume temperature that all we have to enter the uh, elasticity plasticity all the value of property we have to enter in pre processing phase clear so in pre processing phase we have to collect all basic data of object and apply all the basic data in, in the software first phase is a pre processing second phase is to find out the solution so in this phase a governing a matrix equation are derived and the solution for the primary quantity of generated means once we, uh, we give input data and second solution so in, in the source code of uh, any of the software we have to do some mathematical equation and that math based on that mathematical equation we have to find some solution and that solution that mathematical step means in that mathematical step we have to use matrix equation okay based on that matrix equation we have to find out displacement temperature pressure all this property using the equation and last step that is post processing means any of the process dividing three parts first one pre processing find out solution and then after post processing so in post processing what we have to do in the last phase check the validity of solution generated we have to check the uh, solution with proper boundary condition then examination of the value of primary quantity such as displacement and stress and error involving variable means we have to check one type of uh, it look like uh, you have to check the tolerances and uh, quality of the object and quality of the solution so any of the uh, so problem divide fe problem divide in three parts pre processing solution and post processing okay so in today's session we discuss uh, types of analysis also we discuss three definition discretization process elements and not and we discuss few software of uh, analysis software and phases of fea problem so in next session we have to discuss one more topic thank you